Randall Gooding. Uh, about 10 years ago, I saw an alpaca commercial on television and I thought that it was something I wanted to do. Big one. Give me a big one. Bam. <laughs> we uh, raise alpacas and miniature llamas here at Emmett Acres. The alpaca is raised for its fiber. We, we take the fiber and make it into products. Shirts, hats, coats, sweaters, just about anything else that you make any other, any other product into. The alpaca is grown specifically for its fiber and the llamas, llamas are grown to work. But we raise the miniature llama, which is going to be hopefully in the future like the miniature horse. A, a pretty much of a novelty. This is Nacho, our little mini llama. Little mini llama boy. He's, oh, uh, boy. he's almost two years old and he's not even as big as an alpaca yet, so he's really gonna be nice. Each one of them, if, if you spend enough time with them, they're just like people. Each one of them has their own personality. Uh, each one of them has a name because they're all registered, so therefore, we don't have an, an ear tag or anything like that that we check them with. We actually, we call them by name and some of them even know their name. This little girl right here is uh, our newest. She was born on November the 10th, which was the Marine Corps birthday. So we named her Marina. They spit because they can't say no. If you do something to one of them that they don't particularly like or you hurt one of them, uh, they will spit on you. Here, Jody. I'll spit on Jody now. If you feed them a snack and one wants it and they won't take it, they'll spit on each other. And if you get in the way, then you will get spit on. Eat all my stuff here. Uh-uh-uh. If, if you go to catch one and it don't want to be caught, then it will probably spit on you. Give me a kiss. Well, getting kissed by an alpaca is, depending on which alpaca you kiss, and there's no odor to the animal. <laughs> They're sweet. They're really nice animals.